In the previous course in this series, The Universal Vibrational Spectrum, we described how the centering vibration is the connection to the center, a gateway to higher realms. It is the force which balances and harmonizes all of the qualities in the vibrational spectrum, all the different 12 band energies, which we then may apply or project in our practical work. So this means that we must cultivate the highest aspects of the centering vibration as the background quality of our entire energy field, which will then harmonize and optimize any of the 12 band vibrations from the vibrational spectrum, which we then project in our work. So what is the optimal source of the centering vibration which can then illuminate our entire energy field? In the Universal Vibrational Spectrum class, we discussed how the centering vibration can be manifested by the most beneficial inner states of thought and emotion. This includes happiness, joy, and love. Although often dismissed today as being simply sentimental cliches, cultivating inner happiness, joy, and love is in fact the essential foundation of a healthy vibrational body and thereby of all beneficial projections coming from our field in bioenergy healing. We begin by connecting with these optimal states in our own energy body and consciousness and then using these states in the microcosm of our own energy field to create a resonant connection with these optimal vibrations in the macrocosm where they manifest at the highest level as divine love. The generation of these optimal inner states in our thoughts and emotions, which are then related to the mental body and emotional body, and the mental and emotional body is in the European Rosicrucian system referred to together as the astral body. So whenever we talk about thoughts and emotions, we are talking about the content of what in some classical traditions is called the astral body. So the generation of these inner states in our thoughts and emotions is discussed in many traditions, with a major example being, in modern times, the popularization of the inner smile technique from Taoist internal alchemy in the Chinese tradition. A very important technique in modern Taoist internal alchemy practices is then to focus on the times of our life when we felt the most intense inner happiness and joy. And this manifest in the physical body as an authentic smile appearing on our face. This is often linked to our feeling love for a particular person or thing in our life that brings us happiness and joy. This awakens smiling energy, manifesting as a smile on the face, but being collected inside the body as a vibratory power is then circulated through the energy channels of the body. And particularly in the Taoist system, it is circulated through the five major organs of the body. And so the inner smile energy is circulated through this sequence. First, it is generated inside the heart and illuminates the heart. And the heart is considered to be the fire element in Taoist internal alchemy. It then moves from the heart to the spleen and we illuminate the spleen with the inner smile energy. And the spleen is considered to be the foundation of the earth element in the physical body. Then we move the inner smile energy from the spleen to the lungs, which are considered to be the metal element in the Chinese five element system. And then from the lungs to the kidneys, which are considered to be the water element. And then from the kidneys to the liver, which are considered to be the wood element. And then back to the heart as the cycle continues from the heart to the spleen, to the lungs, to the kidneys, to the liver, and continuing back to the heart. Now in our version of this practice, we will then take this inner smile energy into the spine and into the brain, and then let it illuminate our physical eyes so that we literally see with the eyes of love. There are also many other circulation patterns through which the inner smile energy may be moved as is done in variants created by different groups today. We want to always generate this inner smile before doing bioenergy projections on other people or living beings. It will always improve the quality of whatever energy work we are doing. 
Now for all energy practices of this kind, it is helpful to touch the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth. This connects together the energy circuit up your back midline, which is known as the governing vessel in Chinese medicine. And it connects it to the energy circuit that runs up your front midline, which is known as the conception vessel in Chinese medicine, creating a stronger and smoother energy flow through your body. When the tip of the tongue connects to the roof of the mouth and connects the flow up the midline of your back in the governing vessel, up over the head, and then down the front of the head to the upper palate, when you touch the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth, the energy can then flow down the tongue and connect to the conception vessel that runs down the trunk of the body, down to the perineum, and then connects to the base of the spine and to the governing vessel again. This is called the microcosmic orbit in the Taoist internal alchemy. And it's a very important fundamental energy circulation in the body, up the spine and down the front of the body. It may also reverse direction for particular specialized applications. So touching the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth helps to connect these two core lines of energy in the body so they become a smooth inner circulation. Touching the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth then is a good background practice to do in the midst of other energetic practices and we will be using it in this practice. This inner smile of happiness and joy inside of us manifest vibrationally can be tested as the centering vibration. It can also manifest various other potential bands in the vibrational spectrum connected with whatever the happiness and joy is linked to. But its baseline, its fundamental quality of happiness and joy and all beneficial internal states is always the centering vibration. Then the other bands get added into that. So this centering vibration will intensify as we develop the joy and happiness further inside of us to then blossom into love and compassion. This love will manifest vibrationally as a warm glow which often appears first around the heart center and then moves through the entire energy field with a very strong intensity of the centering vibration. This unconditional love is our link to the larger field of divine love. Divine love is truly the essential vibration of love and healing. And it is our link to higher worlds. And it needs to be the basis then of all of our vibrational projections.